Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, it is time for you to dream again, my child, for the vision that I have placed deep down within inside of you is not expired, and I want you to get excited about it once more. For though it has tarried, it will come to pass when you put your full trust in me. I know the challenges that you have faced and those that you are still facing today. And I am working on each of those challenges within the background, my child. So trust me once more and surrender the burdens that you are currently carrying. For each worry will just weigh you down in the race that I have you upon. Remember, I am the author and the finisher of your story. And I'm about to write a new chapter within your life book. Satan wished that he was an author, but heaven gave him no pen, my child. So don't worry about him, for I have an incredible ending to your story, my child. Satan is not the author of your life, for what is about to happen to you will drive the enemy to envy. I will send my ministering angels to assist you, for they shall minister to all who inherit salvation. I will bring the change that you are looking for, my child, for I will even cause opportunities to open up before you that will be like an unexpected blessing and gift from me. Yes, I will cause the suddenlies to happen within your life, for my spirit will bring a quickening to the things to work in your favor when you trust in me fully. I will also send my divine helpers your way that will help you get to the next level that I desire for you to walk in this next season, my child. I desire for you also to be healthy and made whole, for I am shifting things in your life to work for your favor within this hour. As you remain in me, I have promised to remain in you, my child. Remember, I hear your prayers. I feel your pain, my child. I know when you are overwhelmed, and I know when you are exhausted too. Yes, I have even know when you are worried about how even things are going to work out for your future, my child. But I want you to put a fresh trust in me today, knowing that you will get through this season and that I am with you and will fix every broken area of your life as you rest in me. No weapon will prosper that is sent against you, my child. Now it may try to fashion against you, but it will never prosper to destroy you, for I am for you. Nothing can defeat you when I am on your side, my child. So whatever you may face this day, know that if you just hold your peace and remain in my rest, I will fight your battles, my child. I will make a way even when you don't see a way out. As you learn to rest in me more, my child, you will discern more the times when I am calling you to be still. The times that I'm calling you to be silent, the times that I'm calling you to be patient, and the times that I'm calling you to fight in the Spirit. Just as I have called my servant Joshua to lead my people Israel across the Jordan River in faith to possess the promised land, I will call you to exercise your faith and to possess what is rightfully yours, my child, in prayer and in action. I have created you and prepared you for this very moment. I have equipped you for every battle that may come your way. I will even put fear in the heart of your enemies when you are focused on me fighting your battles. For as I was with your forefathers of faith before you, so shall I also also be with you, my child. I am your fresh running river in dry places. I am your hiding place from the strong winds of life. I am your 
comfort in every weary land and season. I am your shadow of protection from the blistering sun. I am your rock in the storm that will protect you from all your enemies. I am the author and the finisher of your faith. I am the king of life. I am the love of your life. I am your mediator within heaven's courts. I am your good shepherd. When you go astray, I am there to bring you back. I am your redeemer, your helper, your hope, your righteous judge, and your Messiah. Therefore, you have nothing to worry about, my child, for when I am for you, then who can be against you? So be at peace knowing that I have all under control. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Let us turn to the book of Galatians from chapter 3, verses 26, all the way to chapter 4, verses 7. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave. Though he is master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the Father, even so, we were and we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Hallelujah. See, we are children of God. See, maybe as a child, you also, just like me, maybe you dreamed of flying. You always thought it was a, a good thing to be able to do that. I remember jumping off a roof in my uh, Superman outfit as a young child and hitting the ground and grazing uh, myself on the ground and my mum had to come and attend to me. But see, but as much as we might like to fly, it's physically impossible or humanly impossible to do it on our own. We need an aeroplane or some other flying device to do that in the same way. It's spiritually impossible for us to make ourselves right with God on our very own. We need faith in the Savior to do that for us. We need Jesus Christ. Today's passage in Galatians tells us that faith itself comes as a gift from God. When he places the Holy Spirit in our hearts so that we cry out to him as our Heavenly Father. See, until the Spirit works in our hearts, we remain spiritually dead and in rebellion against God. But when God, by his grace, sends the Holy Spirit into our hearts, he fills us with a new life kindling true faith in us so that we know Jesus as Savior and giving us the true knowledge that he has made us for himself. See, there's tremendous comfort and assurance in this teaching about the Holy Spirit. This isn't a once-off quickening. Instead, the Holy Spirit speaks to us continually reminding us that we are not our own but that through Jesus we belong to God see as you go about your work today or your day whatever your activities are reflect on the Holy Spirit's work in your life he has given you faith so that you can call out to your Heavenly Father don't ever let anything you encounter rob you of that truth and that joy today 
Jesus wants to be with you. The Holy Spirit is with you today. Allow him to touch you and to fill you and to make you new today. Let us pray, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that you have placed your Holy Spirit in our hearts to help us see your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us this day. We pray and trust and want to serve you with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, and with all of our souls. We are thankful, Heavenly Father, for the expression of your will within our daily life as you have shown us in your word. And we therefore claim all the will of God for us today. We are thankful that you have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are thankful that you have begotten us unto a living hope by the resurrection of your son Jesus Christ from the dead. And we are also thankful that you have made a provision so that today we can live filled with the Spirit of God with love and joy and peace, with long-suffering, gentleness and goodness, with meekness, faithfulness and self-control within our life. We recognize that this is your will for us and therefore we reject and resist all the endeavors of Satan and his wicked spirits to rob us of the will of God within our lives. We refuse in this day to believe that our feelings and hold up the shield of faith against all the accusations and distortions and insinuations that Satan would put within our minds. We claim the fullness of your will today, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we completely surrender ourselves to you. Heavenly Father, as a living sacrifice. We choose not to be conformed to this world. We choose to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And we pray that you would show us your will and enable us to walk in all the fullness of your will today. We are thankful, Heavenly Father, that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty in God to pull down strongholds, to casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and to bring every thought into the obedience of Christ Jesus. Therefore, in our own life today, we tear down the strongholds of Satan and smash the plans of Satan that have been formed against us. We tear down the strongholds of Satan against our mind and surrender our minds to you, O Lord. The blessed Holy Spirit, we affirm, Heavenly Father, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. We break and smash the strongholds of Satan Satan formed against our emotions today and we give our emotions to you. We smash the strongholds of Satan formed against our, our will today and we give our will to you and choose to make the right decisions of faith. We smash the strongholds of Satan formed against our body today and we give our body to you, recognizing that you are within us because you have your temple within us. We rejoice in your mercy and goodness. Heavenly Father, we pray that now and through this day that you would strengthen and enlighten us and show us the way. Satan is hindering and tempting and lying and distorting the truth within our life. You will make a way of escape for us from every plan of the devil. Enable us to be the kind of person that would please you. Enable us to be aggressive in prayer and faith. Enable us to be aggressive mentally to think about and practice your word and give you your rightful place in our lives. Again, we cover ourselves with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and we pray that you, blessed Holy Spirit, would bring all the work of the crucifixion, all the work of the glorification and all the work of Pentecost into our life today. We surrender ourselves to you and we refuse to be discouraged. You and the God of all hope, you have provided 
proven your power by resurrecting Jesus Christ from the dead. And we claim in every way this victory over all satanic forces within our life. And we pray, Lord, that you would have your way over us, even when we can't see a way within ourselves. We are grateful, Heavenly Father, that the Lord Jesus Christ spoiled all principalities and powers and made a show of them openly and triumphed them in himself. We claim that all victory in your name today, we reject all things coming against us in Jesus' name. By faith in dependence upon you, we put off the fleshly works of the old man and stand into all the victory of the crucifixion where the Lord Jesus Christ provided cleansing from the old nature. We put on the new man and stand into all the victory of the resurrection and the provision he has made for us to live above sin. Therefore today we put off all films all forms of selfishness and put on the new nature with its love. We put off all forms of fear and put on the new nature with its courage. We put off all forms of weakness and put on the new nature with its strength. We put off all forms of lust and put on the new nature with its righteousness, purity and honesty. And we are trusting you to show us how to make this practical in our daily lives. In every way, we stand into the victory of the ascension and glorification of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thereby, all the principalities and powers were made subject to him. I claim, Lord, we claim today our peace in Christ victorious with him over all the enemies of our soul. Blessed Holy Spirit, we pray that you would fill us, come into our life, break down every idol and we cast out every foe today in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen this is pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth Western Australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, go to our Facebook page or our Instagram, go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. We've got the three-day fasting coming up the 24th, 25th, 26th of January. Don't forget that. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.